Hello and welcome back to the another video of the Java tutorial series. So today uh, we are seeing in inheritance in Java part two, uh, where wherein we'll be disc discussing each and every type of inheritance in Java. Uh, there are basically five types of five types are there: single, multi-level, hierarchical, uh, multiple, and hybrid. And as you know, multiple uh, inheritance is not supported in Java. Uh, we'll discuss why not it, it is not supported in Java in our later videos. Uh, but for now, we will see in this video particularly we will seeing into uh, single and multi-level inheritance in Java. So let me just open my IDE. Okay, so here you can see a uh, single level inheritance is nothing but one class is inheriting the properties of another class uh, like class A is parent class here and class B is inheriting the property of the class A. Okay, so we'll see one uh, short example of single level inheritance. I will just write a new class inheritance. Let me increase the font size. I will import the main main method and now I will declare one method inside this uh, for that before that I will create one class called animal inside this class I will declare one method name as eat and this method is not accepting any parameters and the return type is also void that's why it, it is not returning anything else so I will just print eating now I will create another class name as dog and as we discussed in our early video uh, for implementing the inheritance we use the keyword extends i will write extends animal so here uh, dog is a subclass or the child class and the animal is the parent class or the super class okay uh, and the dog class is inheriting the properties which are properties of the animal class uh, now i will create one method here name as bark and I will just simply print barking okay uh, now inside my main class that is the inheritance class and inside my main method I will create the object of the dog class uh, let me call it as dog1 is equals to new dog okay and I have created the object of the class and I will write d dot bark that take the dog one dot bark and dog one dot eat sorry and now if I run this class here you can see uh, barking and eating is getting printed on the console because uh, in animal class that is a parent parent class we have written the void method a uh, void eat method uh, which 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 is printing eating uh, on, on the console and inside the dog we have a bark method and which is printing barking and using the object of the dog class uh, that is dog one we are just calling the method bark and eat uh, so here you can see we are we are written the implementation part of the eat method inside the animal class that is the parent class and still we are uh, using it uh, by the creating the object of the dog, dog class because we have inherited the properties of the animal class inside the dog class that's why so this is a simple example of the uh, single level in inheritance and next we have multi-level inheritance uh, so let me just go here and i will create one another class name as multi-level inheritance now let me just increase the font size we'll write my main method and uh, as you can see here, multi-level inheritance is nothing but uh, multiple classes are in inheriting uh, the property. As, as you can see here, 
class C is uh, inheriting the properties of the class B and class B is inheriting the properties of class A. Okay, so we will implement try to implement this inside our code. So I will take the same example as we have uh, taken for the single uh, single level inheritance. Uh, I will just copy this animal class inside this class. <coughs> Okay, why is this throwing error? Deploy class found in Acha. Oh, sorry, we have already written this animal class over here. And let me just comment this out so that IntelliJ IDEA will not throw the errors. Okay, here we have this animal class, and one dog class is also required. I will just copy this doc class also. Okay, and I will require another class so that I can have three classes which are inheriting the properties of animal class. And I will write new class class name as let's suppose baby dog. Uh, which is inheriting the properties of dog and it has its own method known as void well, let's suppose whip and I will just simply print whipping okay here you can see uh, oh, one parent class is there anim animal when eat method is there and dog is extending the extending the animal class and baby dog is extending the dog class so here you, here you can see one class in, inheriting the another class and another, that class is also inheriting the properties of the main main parent class okay so simply we will create the object of the baby dog class let's suppose dog one is equal to new baby dog Okay, and now if I write dog one dot whip whip is the method I guess this is the method sorry I have written wrong here now it's okay uh, whip uh, dog one dot bark dog one dot eat now if i run this class the output should, output should be whipping uh, barking and eating here you can see now now in hierarchical and uh, hybrid we will discuss in the ne next video and we'll also discuss why multiple inheritance is not supported in java thank you for watching this video